everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Farmer George. Today's episode is all about roots. So if you're a plant nerd, this is right up your alley. It's December 3rd, and I don't have anything else going on right now except for the three plants and then the, the other plant I have under the grow lights. Um, everything else is outside, the water's turned off, and just waiting to ripen up those last few pods. Um, so today I thought we would have an episode just about everything that I know about roots, which isn't much, but it's enough to, uh, it's just my knowledge gained over the past six or so years of growing peppers um, and the second year growing indoors. So with that being said, the plants you see in front of you are all pepper plants, um, growing them for different reasons, crossing, um, continuing on strains, uh, strengthening strains of uh, crossbreed peppers that I've made. Um, but today we're talking about roots. So I wanted to show you a couple of plants here. I sowed them all at the same time, but they germinated at different rates. Clearly you can see this one germinated last. This one was second to last. This one was first and I have one in between this size. When I have plants indoors and I'm feeding them hydroponic nutrients, I start them off with uh, light nutrients so I don't shock the, the poor little seedlings that I just sprouted. So this plant that you see right here, and I just started this plant, are, they're both on full strength nutrients. This one right here is on quarter strength nutrients. And that's another reason why this one is still so small. But the reason I'm not giving it full strength is the root system isn't there to soak up those nutrients and uh, kind of utilize those, that, that amount of nutrients uh, beneficially to the plant. So let's take a look at these different plants root systems. So doing the best I can, I'm gonna to try to keep this camera as steady as possible when I show you this, this plant's root system. And as you can see, there's only one little root sticking out there at the bottom of the net cup. And that's the plastic little netting you see there that's holding in the rock wool. And I don't know if you can really see, we'll get to see the air roots, but they're in there behind the net cup. And uh, we'll take a look at those in a second, and I'll talk about those in a second. But I have this one. If you notice, I shut this, and it is touching. You'll see the nutrient level move. It'll be a little wavy when I bring this up. And that's because the bottom of the neck cup is still touching the nutrient solution. And I'm going to drop that nutrient solution as soon as this little root here starts to take off. That's exactly what I did with this plant just a couple of days ago. You can see that big, long root. It's it's draped in the uh, the nutrient solution. And that second root right there has these uh, furry looking roots hanging off the side. And those are actually air roots. And they weren't air roots previously to me dropping the nutrient solution. So the plant evolved, it changed, and now it's taking in air and oxygen through that root right there. And there is another one, if we can see it off the side of the table there, that furry one. And that root right there, takes in air. That long root that's hitting the, the nutrient solution is taking in the nutrients and the water. And for a little bit more extensive root system, here's the oldest plant, or the fastest growing plant, the first to germinate. Look at all the air roots hanging out of the side and that thick, thick main stem. So that's what this stem is eventually gonna look like from this plant. But this stem right here branched off into a ton of other roots right down there and it's just soaking up so much nutrients and so much water and that's why it's such a big plant and it's pushing out so many buds. We got two there, we got another one there. What I'm trying to say is this plant has buds, it's doing great and it's tall. The stem is thick here and it is just loving life. So yeah, these are the, the three most contrasting plants that I have growing right now. The other one is kind of in between these two. So as you saw in these different plants, um, each of them has a different root situation going on. This small one, like I said, the, the uh, nutrient solution is still touching the base of that net cup. And that's so that the, the majority of the roots that are still immature and they're still trapped within the net cup can still get nutrients by soaking it in through the, the rock wool that they're sitting in. That's the absorbent medium that I have holding the plant steady within that net cup. Um, the second one, like I showed, I just dropped the nutrient solution down and hiked up the nutrients. And this plant is going to strengthen that, that one root that's hanging down there. 
to look more like this one's root system where it has that really thick root. It's as thick as this stem up here and it's just pumping this plant full of nutrients and water. So the main takeaway from this video, especially if you're growing indoors, plants require air to grow as well as nutrients and water. Um, believe it or not, your fuzzy, furry roots that are growing take in the air and they're not moldy, so don't worry. And those are on your outdoor plants too, but you just can't see them, they're under, under the soil. And that's why it's especially important to be careful when you're watering your plants. You don't want to soak your plants and drown them. Just like you can drown your indoor plants by bringing that nutrient solution up to the bottom of that net cup, not allowing for any of those air roots to take in water, that'll do the same thing outside. Your, uh, your plant will suffocate essentially and die. I mean, it'll get a little bit of oxygen through the leaves, but the majority of the oxygen comes from the roots. So just like your hair, healthy, healthy plants start with a healthy root system. So it's important to take care of your roots. I'm excited to share with you the progress of these plants and the, the one plant that's in the grow room right now throughout the rest of, rest of the winter. Be sure to tune in. I'm going to be doing a lot of these mini episodes just to discuss kind of like uh, what I know, kind of like the science. It's not really that scientific. I kept it really base, really high level because I'm not that scientific. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, throw me a thumbs up, shoot me a comment, and please subscribe. And as always, remember, I'm Farmer George, and let's share and grow together. See you next time.